100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain, man. Shansi in the mix with Side Chick Song. But by now it's time for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans and Easy Payday Loans. Knows life gets a bit hard sometimes, but they are making it easier for you to receive financial help in under an hour. You can apply online anytime and anywhere. Start your own application on Easy Payday Loans website. Just grab your phone and log on to www.easypayday.loans. Talking about your hot topics in the media today. So, of course, you know in the Bahamas here, we look at June 1st as the beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season. However, in the U.S., June 1st is also the start of the month of pride. And this is the promotion of the self-affirmation, dignity, equality, and increased visibility of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people as a social group. So just yesterday morning, the United States Embassy in Nassau had raised the rainbow pride flag to honor the human rights of the LGBTQ persons in the Bahamas and around the world. So this led to a response from the Bahamas Christian Council stating that the Bahamas believes in the traditional family structure of one man and one woman. I'm not sure if you saw this message that Woods passed around. But the Bahamas Christian Council also said that they support the right of each Bahamian to determine their own sexual preference and their own destiny as the Bahamas does not believe in the mistreatment of citizens regardless of their sexual or other orientation. So, of course, this is big news right now that is going around. And they also stated that, you know, just feel a bit slightly offended the fact of our rights here in the Bahamas, our beliefs here in the Bahamas, and, you know, the fact that they still went ahead and put the pride flag up. Now, my... Or is this, I wonder if they're probably going to take it down. Do you think they're going to take it down or they're going to leave it up? I don't know what's going to happen with that, but oh boy. It's just a very sensitive topic right now. But since it's Pride Month in the U.S., let's talk about what's happening with Jay-Z's mother. Because now she's expressing her ill feelings towards one of Jay-Z's famous song, 4 Minutes and 44 Seconds. Because the song mentions her sexuality as well as the struggles that she endured while bringing Jay-Z up. So he said in the song, 4 minutes and 44 seconds, if you had missed these lyrics, Jay-Z stated that Mama had four kids, but she's a lesbian, had to pretend so long that she's a thespian, had to hide in the closet so she medicate, society's shame and the pain was too much to take. So a lot of us probably might have missed those lyrics, which I did. I did not even know, you know, Jay-Z's mother was a lesbian, but now we all, I guess, know that, seeing that she has really come forward and she's expressing her feelings on this. So Jay-Z did say that when she first heard the lyrics of the song, she had gotten super defensive and she was like, absolutely not. But I guess after a while they talked about it, she even wrote a poem on it. And it was actually in the outro of the four minutes and 44 seconds. So if you probably haven't listened to the song exactly word for word, you might want to listen to it right now. But a lot of celebrities have been posting up on social media, sharing their beliefs and the fact that, you know, they're with Pride Month and everything that, um, you know, follows with it. So your favorite celebrities are supporting it. So I don't really know what's going to go on that. Let's not talk about that too much. Sensitive, very touchy topic. But right now, moving on to further news, Black China who shares a child with Rob Kardashian, took to social media to make a statement in reference to the Kardashian women, the Kardashian sisters, I'd say. So Black China posted a photo of the Kardashian sisters with the words, if they were black, they'll say it's ghetto, but all of them are baby mamas. Now, a lot of persons kind of took to social media to bash Black China and accusing her of, you know, just trying to be relevant. But if you look past the messenger and pay attention to the message, it's kind of just a bit true. I'm just saying if you look at it just a little bit, because Kim Kardashian right now, she has four kids and she is going through a divorce. Um, Courtney, she had three kids and she's never been married, just has had a boyfriend for years. Kylie, you know, she had, yeah, I think it's Kylie. Yeah, she had one child and she's a single mother. Chloe has one child, you know, his boyfriend, and they constantly have drama in the media due to her baby father being accused of constantly cheating on her and fathering the kids of other women. So I'm just saying, if you do not look at the messenger, but pay attention to the message. And if you look at the storyline of, you know, at least four of the Kardashian sisters, then yeah, kind of, yeah, that could kind of look like a lot of baby mamas to me. But, you know, I'm not the one to judge. Definitely, it's not my position. But I say also kind Kanye West seems as though he's been hitting headlines saying that he has moved on amid, you know, the divorce with Kim Kardashian. So just happy to see that. And also, you know, Kanye has been doing super well thus far as well, especially with him, you know, with the Yeezys 
and everything with his clothing brand that he has have going on. So congratulations to him. Just one more time, and maybe sometimes a divorce is best. But that's it for Chat Trap. Just telling you a bit about what's happening in the media, keeping you up to date with it. Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. Easy Payday is giving you low fees and the most competitive rates on any loan you apply for. Instant loans, auto loans, loan consolidation, and quick financial assistance. So refer a friend and Easy Payday Loans will pay you $100 when you as an existing client refer a friend. Terms and conditions do apply. Call or visit today, 603-0200, or visit them at their new location on University Drive. Right now, jumping back to the mix, of course, we got to play your favorite hits, all right? So do not change that dial right now. We got DJ Khaled, Drake with Grease. Coming up, we're going to get into that four minutes and 44 seconds with Jay-Z because we got to take a look into those lyrics ourselves. (laughs) 